Jared's giving me the look. I'm pretty good at recognising the signs now. A light breeze tickles my cheeks and I lift my chin, letting it cool my sweaty neck. Distracted, I wonder if it might be cooler inside the classrooms than outside today. Probably even cooler than here in the shaded area, actually. It's a hot day for November, though I can't remember the weather on all the days in all the Novembers I've been alive. I glance away from Jared's freckly face and his flushed pink cheeks and concentrate harder on my mouth and my voice on finding the right words to tell him about how far I got on Tunnels of Disaster and Doom Map 5 and the 40 million new obstacles I won last night, but I can't stop my eyes from moving back up to him. He's looking over my shoulder at the kids playing on the field, and his feet and hands are shifting and fidgeting. This all tells me he doesn't want to be standing with me anymore and that his ears aren't listening to what I'm saying. It's the same look most people get when I'm telling them about Orb's world. But I absolutely have to finish telling Jared about Tunnels of Disaster and Doom Map 5. Orb's world is my favourite computer game ever, and last night I was messaging Jared, username rugballlove4578, and he's already completed Map 5, and he's the most popular boy and the best sprinter in the whole school. I decide to talk faster. And it was that ladder that I got stuck on every time for like two weeks, but then I figured it out and... Mm Mm-hmm. I recognise these types of response because of mystery game number three. And I know to watch for visual clues like body language and facial expressions because of mystery game number four. I learned all of this at the Be Aware classes I went to last year with Mum, Dad and Ned. There were other families there with autistic children like me who also needed help understanding things like body language and emotions. Mum said we were lucky to live close enough that we could attend. I liked the classes, but right now, I'm not so sure they were helpful. Because the problem is, I don't know how to make Jared interested in what I'm saying, so I just keep talking. I had to climb the ladder halfway. Yep. Jared takes three small steps backward, wiping his hands on his shorts, and then hop onto the platform when the ants... Oh yeah, he adjusts his watch. 